What's going on guys, Berserker here, and we are back for some more Agrarian Skies. Yeah, buddy. So, what have you guys been up to? Well, I know at least one of you has been up to posting a bunch of comments, so thank you, thank you, thank you very much to... Get your name here. Chimpcast Cameron? Let me know if I said that right. Um, thank you for all of the lovely comments. They are actually really, really helpful, and we're actually going to use them right now. Um... So, for those of you uh, that don't know, um, for any YouTuber, pretty much anywhere ever, comments are probably the best thing ever. Um, honestly, I, like the second I saw that I actually had comments on my video, it's literally five minutes later and I'm recording another episode just because I saw comments that I want to use and they're helpful and they just motivate me to make other videos. So, definitely leave some more comments, leave some likes, leave some love. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with some of these comments, shall we? So, his first comment was uh, about the radio, which we actually looked up at the end of the episode. Um, get those out of the way. Um, so, the first thing he said was to... Well, we can actually get more dirt. I guess underneath this dirt block here, there's actually a dirt chest with more dirt in it. How cool is that? That is so cool. Can we stick anything else in it? No, it's strictly dirt. Very cool. Okay, cool. Well, we just got some more dirt. Now we can make some more trees and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, also, we should probably, you know, nom on some apples really quick. We're going to grab ourselves that. We can, yeah, we can't really. I don't really want to spend. We just use a half slab. Um, if we, he said to do this, and now we have an infinite water source here. Which is really neat. Obviously, it stopped the water, unfortunately, for the rest of the island. But I don't really care, to tell you the truth. So now we have an infinite water source here, which is really cool. Um, and with that, he brought up the good idea of fishing. Um, where is it? Um, fish by throwing the rod into the air and land it into the water. Okay, so uh, we have our fishing pole here. Um, is it already considered turned in? Yeah, we already finished this, so... Um, the first stone. Ooh, uh... Um, let's go ahead and plant down another oak sapling. And... I think we're going to use one of our dirts. One of... One, one dirt. We're going to use one of our dirts. Is dirts plural for dirt? Multiple dirt? Um, where's our sifter? Did... Wait... Uh... Am I... I'm an idiot. How did I... Like, I literally walked up to this and I just... I completely ignored it. So, um... The first thing that we're gonna need to do is get cobblestone. And the way we do that is with this sifter here. The sieve. Excuse me. The sieve. Um, so what you need to do is put dirt into the sieve, and with that we can actually just start punching the dirt, and it actually sieves out the dirt and leaves us with some stone. Four pieces of stone equals one cobblestone, so we should have a quest completed. Very cool. Um, now we need to pick a seed. Ooh. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with carrot. Carrot. Because on my last playthrough that, you know, you guys obviously didn't see. I had carrot seeds, and it was just the darndest best thing in the whole freaking world. So we're gonna get carrot seeds. I know that, like, you know, seeds, wheat, probably pretty cool, but you have to think about it. Three wheat equals one bread. Yeah, bread's probably a little more filling, but with carrots, like, when they grow, there's like five or six that drop. So that's pretty cool. Um, cotton seeds, you know, easier string. I can just stick a maggot or whatever it is, a silkworm, into a tree. I don't really need cotton. Sugar cane would actually be really cool because I actually do need uh, sugar cane. But I think I can get sugar cane seeds uh, just from sifting dirt. So, yeah, we're going to go with carrot seeds. I think I can get carrot seeds as well. But, um, yeah. We're actually going to turn up, I think, the sound. I think it was the sound, yeah, sound. Um, and I guess I had music off last time, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the music. I put a little bit of background music. It's Minecraft music, but I put it in the background. Um, 
is just kind of like filler noise from my voice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, you know, let me know. I swear I saw the string move. Oh my god, the string does move. Okay, good, I'm not tripping. I, I swear, I pulled this out and it like moved. I was like, you know, I'm probably just really, really tired. That didn't just happen. But you know what? It actually did. Okay, well, that was that was cool. Um, okay, so the first thing I want to do is plant these carrot seeds because I would really, really like to, you know, not die. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to plant it up here for now. I don't have a way to transport water just yet. So, I'm going to go ahead and use one piece of dirt right here. Hopefully my clicking is a little bit better compared to last time. That was just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um... So let's see here. I believe a hoe, if I'm not mistaken, which clearly I can't even, you know, comprehend how insanely stupid I am. It's okay though. Um, is like that. A wooden hoe. Okay. Ooh, you know what? I should really be placing like half slabs. There we go. It's kind of weird, but it works. And we're just going to hoe this guy, and we're going to place down our carrot seeds. Cool. I kind of want to use bone meal, just so I can get, like, another plant growing. Because, I seriously, I need, like, hundreds of these guys. Because I don't want to die. So, we're just going to grow this. Sure. Okay. See, look, it dropped six. Like, how cool is that? Like... Six of them. Now, obviously, if you guys, you know, were kind of paying attention to the last episode, I told you food mechanics have changed. Um, carrots are only worth a half. But I have I have some tricks up my sleeve that are going to make things a lot easier later on. So, mark my words, these carrots are going to be freaking superb. Superb. Um, I'm going to crook this tree really quick. And then we're going to take a look at what our next quest is, because I'm guessing it's probably something to do with, like, iron or dusts. I think it's the dust one. Oh, crap. I really hope it's not the dust one. That one took forever. Um, oh, man, I'm hungry. Um, so, yeah. so uh, let's actually nom on our apples and our carrots because we actually have just two growing up there i can always you know i have a lot of bone meal right now because it, luckily it starts us off with a few few uh stacks of 64 of it so we're gonna, eh, we're gonna get our last carrot. okay um yeah so we still have some stacks of it which is really good i'm really glad that they give us that because i don't think this map would be possible it would take like literally like hours upon hours to get everything that we need um so some of the other comments that uh chimp cast cameron put were um i should have got the pan because i guess you can cook in the pan and it has no durability so i, I kind of done goofed i got the axe instead which you know eh, whatever we'll live with it um and i believe that was everything. He said to break all the small squares around the base. Um, with my, because you can break them with your hand fairly quickly, uh, which actually makes a lot of sense because this way I don't get caught off guard with uh, you know falling off. Ooh, whoa, interesting. But um, I think I might do that off screen because <laughs> that's kind of boring to watch. Dude, these things go flying. Boop. Okay, so what is our next quest, you say? Um, let's take a look. So, ooh, wow, this actually opened up uh, quite a few quests. So let's see, our fishing trip. We need to get a raw fish. So we can actually fish. That's pretty cool. Um, well, we might need to do that. Melting stone. We need to get an unrefined crucible and an unrefined clay bucket, which... 
we can't do just yet. Um, iron or gravel. Oh, that one's gonna take a bit. And smeltering. I'm smelting, I'm smelting. That's gonna take quite a bit. Be resourceful, and this is one of each thing. So, we need dirt. We need lots of dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Um, now you're probably wondering, like, how you just took, like, the seven pieces of dirt that were in that chest. Like, how, how are you supposed to get more? You're probably wondering. Well, you can actually make dirt. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I can actually show you that, because I didn't realize we had 17 saplings. So I'm going to go place one of these guys down. Place that guy down. And I'm going to show you how you make dirt. Well, um, you get yourself one of these barrels, because, you know, this mod quest pack thing has to set you up with, you know, being able to complete it. So, uh, what you do is actually, um, you're going to turn your saplings into compost, essentially, and the compost turns into dirt. So, you just want to fill your barrel up with eight saplings. Um, you can also use some other stuff. String, uh, I think, might be the only thing right now um you can also use carrots which is another major reason why i want to get a bunch of carrots going and some other stuff but uh you'll slowly see that this dirt is well this the sapling color is going to slowly turn to brown and it's going to be our dirt block but um yeah so you can kind of use a few things to start with the string and you know the saplings i think well obviously saplings is a lot better it only takes eight to fill the bucket or the slash barrel the it only takes eight to fill the barrel string i think it takes like maybe 16 i i'm not 100 percent certain on that don't hold me to that number but it takes a lot more than just saplings so i i personally what i'm gonna do is make a big farm of carrots because you get six of them and i'm just gonna use that because i use saplings for the longest time and the last time i played this i'm gonna keep referencing that i'm sorry if that bugs you, let me know if it does, because, you know, it's information you guys don't have slash have viewed. But it took, and there's our piece of dirt, by the way. Um, it was a lot, it took me forever. I was using strictly saplings because I thought that's all I could use, and string just didn't make any sense. And then I was, like, walking around trying to eat a carrot, and I put one in, and I was like, oh, wait, did I just put a carrot in? And then I spammed, like, all 42 of my carrots into this thing. Okay, maybe not all 42, but a lot of them. And I was like, oh, man, if I make a big farm, I can have infinite dirt. You know what I did? I did just that. I had infinite dirt. Um, actually, it wasn't infinite, because, you know, if I used all the carrots, then, you know, it wasn't infinite. But what my main goal, honestly, for right now, to get is, I believe it's called an igneous extruder. An igneous extruder. I'm probably spelling it wrong, so that's that's there. Um, maybe no ig. Maybe maybe like ig. Um, you know everybody knows what an. I actually don't know what an igneous extruder looks like in this because the texture pack. But an igneous extruder, we can actually find in the subs subsets under mod under oh god what's that mod called it's something t it starts with the t thermal expansion we just shift click that it pulls up the whole mod list um let's see here pulverizer sawmill induction um aqueous igneous extruder here we go the recipe for it is glass Machine frame, pneumatic servo, tin, piston. Like, that thing is way, way far off from us, but that thing made my life so easy. Because if you guys don't know, what an igneous extruder does is essentially you put a bucket of lava and a bucket of water in it, and it creates cobblestone for you. Quite literally, that's all it does in one single block, and it's just the best thing ever. So, that's what I'm shooting for to get. So... That's pretty much main goal number one. Uh, there's other stuff, you know, obviously I kind of need to do it, but not the main goal. Obviously, I think over here, 
Uh, maybe we actually don't. I, I think maybe this is the Igneous Extruder. I think we're supposed to make one later on, but... I have no idea what this scale thing is. That's weird. I like it. Um, so let's do fishing trip really quick. So this way, at least we have one quest done, you know, per eppers. Per eppers. So, um, for those of you who don't know, I just worked a lot of hours. So, uh, if I sound stupid because I can't speak proper English, that's probably why. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say. I was talking about, uh, stuff. Fishing. Pole. Water. I want to try to get at least one quest done per episode. That's what I was about to say. Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish. Okay, well. Um, this is also Chimp Cast Cameron's idea was to, you know, obviously fish in the pond of water and just launch your fishing rod into the air because it lands back in the water. So, I I mean, I don't even know what I'm supposed to talk about. We're fishing. Like, what what do people talk about when they fish? I mean, I, I could tell you, like, my life's ambitions, but I feel like you guys probably wouldn't enjoy that. So, we're just not going to do that. We're going to stare at this fishing rod. Okay, well, um, I think the Minecraft rule is if, it, is if it's longer than 11 seconds, pull it back and try again. Come on, come on. Don't make me a liar, game. So, uh, Sleeping Dogs came out today. Anybody getting that? Anybody got that? Is it any good? I'm gonna buy it, regardless, but is it any good? I probably should know that before I go spend 60 bucks on it. You should let me know in the comment section, because, uh, if you guys like, I could totally do a playthrough of it. Like, I have no idea how I, how I would record it. Like, I've got software and, like, you know, it depends on, like, what system I'm going to buy it for. I'm definitely buying it for the PlayStation 4, because I have zero games for my PlayStation 4. Well, that's a lie. I bought Battlefield 4, but I sucked balls at that. Um, but... I, I kind of want to record on my PlayStation 4, because I bought a Roxio. Not a Roxio. What am I talking about? Oh, oh finally, 20 minutes later. God, coming on a tangent about PlayStation 4. Um, no, I bought a, an Elgato, like, six months ago. I spent, like, 130 bucks, and I haven't used it once. So that was fun. But, you know, if I bought it for, you know, the PlayStation 4, I could record for the PlayStation 4 for you guys. That would be pretty cool. So, I don't know. Would you guys like to see some sleeping dogs? If you do, definitely uh, leave some uh, leave some uh, comments. I, dude, I'm going to keep spamming that comment idea. I love these comments. This is like the first time ever I've ever gotten comments. 130 plus subs later and nearly 600 videos later. I mean, you know, I got the occasional one every once in a while. Thank you for all those one people. I love you. Thank you for your comments. But... Dude, Chimcast went hard on like eight comments in a row for seven minutes of the video. Good for you, sir. See if someone else can beat him. You right there, sitting right there listening if you're still listening. Beat him. Spam more comments. Spam more helpful comments. If you want to, you can spam random comments, but I prefer helpful comments because helpful comments are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, what were we doing? We were fishing. We finished a quest. One raw fish. Manual submit. Okay, cool. Our rewards, we get a cooked fish. A quarter heart, a reed fishing rod, ooh, and a reward bag. Um, so this is the way I played it the last time I went through this. Was it makes a lot of sense? Okay, you guys, have, you guys following? You guys paying attention? Are you looking at your screen, your iPhone, your iPad, your iTouch Mini, your Mini iTouch, your i Google glasses? Yeah, you 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 looking? Okay, so this is my this is my madness. You're gonna see the reward bag logo. You're not gonna see my mouse because my mouse cursor is currently disabled reward bag to the left right is full of like the random magic right okay we're like harry potter wizards right now so this is his uh, magic sack which just sounds dirty as all okay so this is harry potter's dirty sack and it's full of magic and this is uh you know hermione's dirty sack her dirty magic sack is touching this dirty magic sack right and harry potter's you know Dirty magic sack is turning this, touching this dirty magic sack. 
So the magic from this sack and the magic from, you know, this sack are touching. So there's a lot of magic in this sack right here. There's double magic. So there's double magic in these double magic bags. So the way you look at it, I have to pick one of these two middle magic bags because there's three lumps of magic sacks touching each other. You catch my drift? So magic sack touching this magic sack plus this magic sack's already magic in it is super magic. So, you know, technically you could look at it as like, oh, this magic sack's touching this magic sack, which is touching this magic sack, which is touching this magic sack. But no, that's not the case. There's two magics, there's two separate, like, ends of the magic sacks. There's like, there's no, like, continuous lane going down from right, right to left or left to right. There's two separate entities of magic sacks, okay? And then they're touching each other in the middle. So this is, there's like only the flow of magic sacks is in the middle is in the middle section. So um, it's kind of just, you know, it's kind of just like which which double magic sack do I want? Which dirty double magic sack do I want? I think I'm going to go with the uh, the right double magic sack because, you know, Hermione's obviously like she's got some double magic sack business going down there. So I'm going to go with this one, okay? You guys follow that logic? If you do, you know, you know good for you because that magic sack logic is just the best supreme overlord magic sack knowledge of all time i'm gonna claim that reward 20 minutes later okay so <laughs> what did we get in our double magic sack okay um oh this it says not so good but this reward is probably one of the best early rewards i think i can actually probably get because you know, it's like, oh, grass, fern, a dead bush, cobweb, flowers, and roses. Ooh, that's stupid. Well, to tell you the truth, um, the rose, the flower, the dead bush, the fern, and the grass. I have no idea if this theory is correct, but if I could put these into this barrel, I just got free freaking, like, dirt. How cool is that? Let's test this theory. Well, um, turns out you can't put a fern in there, so that, that kind of sucks. Okay, you can put grass, though. Like, look at that. That was a free block of dirt. Just regardless of how bad that was, that was a free block of dirt. I don't have to work nearly as hard to get that block of dirt now. So, you know what? I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. Um, these ferns? You know what? I can't do anything with them, but they probably look pretty cool, so I'm gonna go place them on the... Oh, wait. This is in grass. That actually... I actually just did that. I'm not gonna lie. Well, um... Uh... Okay, well, never mind then. Um, these ferns suck. There wasn't enough magic in my magic sack for those ferns. I'm sorry. It's unfortunate, but... Uh, okay, Let's see, as you can see, the uh, green color is now turning brown, and it turns into our dirt block. Our lovely, lovely dirt block. Okay, well, any day now. Uh, we're going to get a dirt block from this. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so we can use grass. Can we use dead bush? We can't use dead bush. That sucks. Um, do I want to use my flowers? I kind of actually don't because I know I'm going to need red and yellow dye eventually. So you know what? I think I actually might keep these flowers. Oh, I kind of want to use them though. Okay, we're going to try half of them. We're going to see if we can even use them. Okay, we can use them. Okay, so it takes a little more than eight. It takes like ten. No, wait, my math is off. No, wait, my math is right. It takes 10 flowers to make a block of dirt. Okay, so that's actually uh, pretty good to know. You know, it's a uh, good future knowledge. Um, there's it says starting scheduled server backup, even though I'm not on a server, which is kind of weird. Um, now we're going to try and see if we can use cobweb. Um, oh, wait, you know what? I can actually use cobweb and break it down into string. Ooh, oh, now we're in a conundrum. I'm going to drink some water while we think about this conundrum. That was my water bottle, I swear. Oh, nom nom nom. Okay, so let's see here. Ooh, um, we have to find out if whether or not we can use cobweb in here. If we can, we're just going to straight up... No, we can't. Okay, so do I have a sword? I don't have a sword. Oh... I'm really glad I didn't break these cobwebs then. Okay, we'll have to break those later when we can acquire a sword because that's going to suck to break if I place one of those down. 
<laughs> oh god. Okay. Um. So another thing you guys can do with these uh, hearts, uh, if you have two quarter hearts, you can actually turn two quarter hearts into a half heart. And then obviously, if you have two half hearts, you can turn that into a full heart, and you can consume that full heart because you know we're evil demons. We are evil demon wizards, trying to repopulate the earth so we can overthrow it. Pretty much the game name of the game. Um. Do we need more dirt? No. But we have more dirt. Okay. Mr. Tree? Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, God. Okay. Um. I think I'm actually going to plant some more. Uh, ooh, uh, eh. We actually don't have any more carrot, but I'm going to put down some more dirt for carrot. Go like this and this. Oh, actually, we're going to use the step here. And we're going to get some more uh, here and here. You know, I really should be using this for um, trees. But to tell you the truth, I think I'm going to have a higher yield of uh, dirt with carrots than with saplings. Where's my hoe? Where my hoe at? Okay. And now we just need to bone meal this guy. I really like the, um, is it, uh, Wayla? I think the way it's Wayla that gives me the, uh, the info on, on blocks. The green stained clay, Minecraft, carrots, growth, 71%, hunger, overhaul. I think it's Wayla. I, I, maybe I just made up that word. Is, is Wayla a thing? Um... So also, as you guys saw right there, which was actually really, really cool, um, if instead of, like, you know, breaking the actual plant with, like, a left click, if you press right click because of, I believe, hunger overhaul, um, if you right click it, it automatically replants a seed or a carrot in place of where it was just sitting, and it also breaks off the rest of them. So, pretty cool. And we also have a carrot to consume ourselves. Okay, so... Yeah, pretty much. What I'm going to be doing between this episode and the next one is destroying a lot of trees because I'm actually kind of scared of not having food. Um, you know, obviously I can just, you know, go bone meal a bunch of carrots and do all that jazz and then, you know, nom on them. But quite honestly, I would rather much, I would much rather have because, you know, I have to wait for those to grow regardless is you know me breaking down these trees and you know getting saplings getting apples for free and you know double feeding i guess is essentially what i'm shooting for but you know in the same time like i'm also killing my hunger so i don't know it's kind of a give take situation but i don't know we'll make it work somehow um but I think that's pretty much going to call it for this episode. I know there was just not, there wasn't like actually tell you the truth that we didn't do anything. Um, we, we got a fish, which actually we're going to eat right now. You see this fish? That was delicious fish. That was probably the best cooked fish in the history of fish. But, um, I'm gonna, I can't eat silkworms. No, I can't. I think I can sift silkworms though. Let's find out. I'm actually going to throw this on the ground so I don't lose them all. Nope, I can't sift them. That's a different block that we don't have yet. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating down below as always. Um, leave a like if you want to, you know, leave a comment. I would love to see some more comments. Um, dude, seriously, like, they just motivate the crap out of me. Like, I seriously, I'm not even kidding you. Like, you know, I, I said that I literally started recording this five minutes, five minutes after I read that comment. I'm not even kidding you. It was probably five minutes. I read them and I was like, dude, I'm pumped. I'm going to go do these things. I'm going to go get that free dirt. And you know what I did? I went and got that free dirt and I recorded a video for you guys. So, you know, if you want to see more, definitely leave a comment. Uh, just motivates. Motivation. Motivation. No breathing. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating down below as always. If you have any comments or concerns about anything, if you want me to play something different, you know, let me know. Um, if you have any tips or suggestions or any just... Uh, you know, answers to any of the questions, the hundred million questions I asked during this video. Um, you know, leave a comment about the questions I comment, I question you about. You know, if you have a question about my questions, then question it. Questioningly. Inquisitively. 
There, that's a bigger word. There's your word of the day, inquisitively. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Peace.